it. Poor horsey couldn't be one horsey.
come here and write the stage, Billy. Sally will tell you, Mr. Farrell. I gotta get this mail through. Anybody, any time, any place for you, Miss Sally, and so would Billy. Well, he's already proven that. And I appreciate it, Billy. Lots more than I can say. Yeah, if our place has been reversed, you'd have done the same thing yourself, Mr. Farrell. You know what? And often you see rivals help each other out. Rivals? Well, sure. You're both in the same business. I know it's not. The Pony Express handles the mail, and the stage line handles freight and passengers. And eventually the mail. Isn't that so? Uh, there's been some talk about it. Why, Dad, you never told me that. Well, it's not definite, but it's going to happen. And when it does, Carson and others like him are going to be out in the cold. That's why I want him to throw in with me. How about it, Billy? Uh, you dickering for a mail contract, Mr. Farrell? We've made the government a proposition to carry the mail daily instead of weekly, as you're doing. Well, uh, why can't I make them the same proposition? Well, of course you can. But it'll take a great number of horses and riders. I got the horses, and I think I can get the riders. If you can't, I can. Well, it's possible. But I don't believe you can make my bid. I can do my best. May the best man win, huh? Yeah. Come on, Fred. Come on, Tyler. With Farrell and Carson both after that mail contract, we're sitting pretty. How? If we can get them fighting one another, that stage road will never be built. That's a good idea, but how can it be done? Very simple. I'll have Carson's horses run off. I'll make it look like Farrell did it. I'll see you later, Stone. Right. bunch of horses. Yeah. Hey, what about Jed here? Oh, I'll take care of him. I don't know why you dragged me up here, Lacey. But whatever it is, you can bet I ain't going to give you no help. That's what you think. Seems to be only two men watching the herd. They're down there. The rest of them are probably in town for the dance tonight. Remember, we want the horses, not the men. They must be left alive. I don't get it. They've got to bring word into Carson and Farrell's men run off his horses. And that's where you come in, my friend. Let's go.
like we'd wing one of them. Come on. Yeah. Ed Clark. What if Farrell's men? Can Tom Farrell be back of this raid? That's for Billy to decide. We're heading for town. by the big slicker quartet here. Now, play it, boys. Make it hot and good.
Should I shoot Pal? We're running off your horses. That's utter nonsense. Not according to what Billy's man told me. You fired this gun recently. That's right. It's the man who shot Pal. Can you prove it? Billy didn't shoot me. Take it easy, Tom. Dad, do as Doc says. The man that shot me. Was he? Do you know? I could only see the flash of his gun. Tom, somebody's trying to get us to fight each other. That's right, son. Well, they won't get away with it. I'll help Sally build the road through the Badlands until you get back on your feet again. Thanks, Billy. Come on, fellas, give me a hand. Come on, boys. Take it, I haven't made any effort to cover the tracks of the horses. It ain't the lack of opportunity. We've passed through plenty of rocky country. I don't understand it, but Me neither. I reckon we might as well push on. said there were seven or eight of them. Looks like some of them cut off here and headed up into the hills. Well, let's get out of here. Wait a minute. We might run right into a trap. Seven men laying an ambush for two is the kind of a waste of gun talent. Well, they might not be within a dozen miles of here, Fuzz. Then we might be covered by guns right now. That ain't so good. No, it isn't. What do we do? Now well, we came here to get those horses. What do you think we're going to do? Oh, by grab, we'll get them. When you get past those rocks, they'll get your horse running. Just in case.
Are they looking for us? We'll cut back and get the horses. Yeah, they can't be far from here.
laundry, was it? Yes. And this is one of the men that ran him off. Why hasn't the stage left, Sally? Well, we've been having a little trouble. I'll take him on down to the sheriff. And as soon as I get some men to help Fuzzy round up the herd, I'll be back. Come on, Red. What's happened? Carson got his horses back. Turner's dead. And Red's been thrown in jail. We sure got ourselves in a tight spot. Yes. Things didn't work out like I figured. Well, I did the best I could. I'm not blaming you any, Steve. We can't let Red go to trial. He'll talk to save his neck. Oh, I'll have him out of jail before that happens. If you can do that, Steve, we'll make it so hot for Carson, he'll wish he never was born. <laughs> well, I'm ready to go to work, Sally. Thanks, Billy, but I'm doubtful if there's anything you can do. Why not? The men refuse to work. They do? Where are they? Out in the wagon yard. By the way, how's your dad? Oh, he's fine. The doc says it'll be months before he's up and around again. Well, we'll keep things going. You better stay in here, Sally. What's holding up the stage from leaving now? What's it to you? Quite a bit. From now till Farrell gets back on the job again, I'm running this outfit. Maybe you're ready to pay our wages. They do today? They've been due for over a month. Well, you'll get them. Now, Al, get this stage rolling. You men, clean up this mess. Nothing doing until somebody shells out our pay. I said you'd get it. Now, either you men start to work, or I'll get some men in here that will. Nobody, us or any other man, will turn a wheel until we're paid. You heard what I said. You get to work or get out. You mean it about paying those wages? I never meant anything more. Well, I'm willing to gamble. That's fine. Now, from now on, you handle this end. Get yourself a hostler that can fight, and you'll be paid fighting wages. Same thing goes all the way down the line. Now, get to work. Come on, Sally. He don't lose any time when he gets going. I know you had to say what you said to the men, Billy, but I'm afraid we can't pay them. Can't pay them? Why not? Well, we're running low on cash. Dad was arranging for a loan when he was shot. Well, I'll advance you all the money that you need until your dad's back on his feet again. Oh, I couldn't let you do that, Billy. Why? All right. I'll agree to it on one condition. What's that? That you take a mortgage on the franchise and equipment we have. <laughs> that won't be necessary. Well, probably not, but it's business. We'll go over to Higgins' office and have him draw up the papers right away. All right, if that's the way you want it, Sally. I'll clean up and then I'll meet you at his office, okay? Okay. I want you to draw up a chattel mortgage in Billy's favor on the stage line for money he's advancing in the next three months. How much are you advancing? Uh, just enough to keep the work going. Do you want to specify the amount that Carson is giving? No. Billy has to start paying bills today, so I'd appreciate it if you'd arrange the legal end right away. Well, you come in in about an hour. Everything will be ready. Thanks, Mr. Higgins. I'll bring the money in on my next run, Sally. Get away! Get away! Prisoners escaped! Prisoners escaped! That printing you brought in escaped. Steve Lacey hit me over the head and freed him. Hit you over the head? How long ago? Uh, 10 or 15 minutes ago. Probably on the way to the Badlands by now. 
Well, I'm going after him. Try to catch him before they get there. Listen, I'd like to go with you, Sheriff, but I got a mail run to make. Good luck. Thanks. Come on, Kelly. It's all on the can going up that cattle mortgage to give Steve a chance to get to work. We've got to wreck both the stage line and the Pony Express. Carson's got to be stopped from bringing that money. Don't worry. Steve Lacey will stop it. I may be following. Tell all the boys to get ready. We're right. Put your hands up. I want that stagecoach money you carry. We're on to you, Carson. We know every move you make. Where's the money? Right in those saddlebags. Hand it to me. Okay. Shoes loose. Turn it up, will you, Fuzzy? 
Sure. Did I get in from his run yet? No. I wish I'd have gone with him. Well, we've driven most of that wild bunch back into the Badlands. You should have kept them there in the first place, then they wouldn't have gotten away with what they did. I can't do the impossible. Hey, Fred. Get off, Steve. Where'd you pick him up, Billy? Over in Rocky Canyon. Tried to push back me, Sheriff. Hey, you gambled on your luck just once too often, Steve. Maybe and maybe not. Hey, it's a sense we can find out from him who's behind the attacks on the stagecoach and the Pony Express. Uh, start talking. Take it easy, Buzz. He doesn't have to say anything about that. I know. You know? And you ain't done nothing about it? It doesn't make sense, Billy. When Steve's man held me up, he mentioned money I was bringing in to keep the stage line going. So Farrell could get back on the job again. Now, only three people besides myself knew about that. Sally, Higgins, and Stone. Well, you can count Sally out. That leaves Higgins and Stone. Isn't that right, Steve? I'll throw him in the who's gal. That won't do any good. Without proof to back up my claim, we'll never get a conviction. Wipe that smile off your mug before I knock it off. Oh, Billy, turn Steve over to me. <laughs> I'll make him talk. I've got a better idea than that. Now, Fuzz, you go over and pick up Stone. Bring him over to the corral and... window and keep your gun on. Come on in here, Steve. Thank you. Now, you've got two guns on you. Do as I told you, understand? I'll get going. What are you doing here, Steve? I told you to come to this office. Well, I, I couldn't get back into Badlands and I had to get rid of it. You run into trouble? I'll say, Jeff. Round up all the men you can and follow me. We'll go ride in the Badlands if we have to. All right, get your horses, men. We're riding.
Check it out. I don't know what went wrong, but Higgins and Steve have been arrested. Carson's on our heels with a posse. We'll have to fight them off. I'll take care of him. Don't get here pretty soon. That serum won't do us any good. Here it comes now. Have you got that serum? You bet you. Come on, try it. Express. I sure do, but it served its purpose. You know, things change, Sally. We've got to change with them. Do you think that'll ever happen to the Fairland Carson stage line? Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, with new territories opening up, and civilization moving westward, 
Well, business is bound to develop. And we'll develop right with it. We'll be the biggest outfit west of the Rockies. You're forgetting the railroads. They won't be sitting around. You know, someday, Sally, they're going to have a railroad in every town and hamlet in the country. Eh, as nice you were, and you're pretty head about that. It's a long time coming. In the meantime, we have a job to do. That's right. Where's Fuzzy? Outside, showing my horse. He should be here any minute. Horseshoes are lucky. They've always been lucky. That's right. Sure. Give me those. <laughs> this is good luck to our new company. Let's go. 